<laughs> Michael Weinberger is ready to experience a new kind of Las Vegas to cap off 2013. Uh, we usually stay at places like the Venetian or Palazzo. <laughs> but this time he chose to stay at the newly opened downtown Grand. It's his first time at the hotel and also his first time in downtown Las Vegas. All this is new. This is a totally new experience for me, so I love it. The downtown Grand CEO Seth Shore is hoping the hotel's first New Year's Eve party inside this newly renovated mop bar will be a hit. And that visitors will also step out to experience what this whole area has to offer. You can come down here, you can walk around, you can have many different experiences within a walking distance. And just a short walk away along Fremont Street is the Container Park, which is also hosting its first New Year's Eve party since opening earlier this month. The free event will offer live music and access to nearly 40 shops and restaurants. Locals like Matt Dangler says he'd rather party here with his friends than on the strip. Like to drive around in all the traffic with the taxis and stuff, nah, not for me. It will be foot traffic only come Tuesday night here at the Fremont Street Experience. $40 will get you in the door with live music on tap featuring everyone from Blues Traveler to Vince Neal. That's what I always like about Vegas anyway. New stuff is always happening and changing. And that is what Weinberger says keeps him coming back to this city year after year. By the way, starting at 6 o'clock tomorrow, you won't be, see any, be seeing any kids here like you see here tonight. They're going to close it off for our people who are under 21 starting at 6 tomorrow. And that also goes for the Container Park after 9 p.m. where people only 21 and older are allowed. For now, reporting live from downtown Las Vegas, Petrania Poonswan, 8 News Now. The stage is set for downtown Las Vegas countdown to 2014. This is the best street party in Las Vegas. The annual year-end party at the Fremont Street Experience costs $40 and will give you access to 10 bands and plenty of options when it comes to bars and restaurants. Uh, this is the Times Square of, uh, of the West, we believe. Just down the street at the newly opened downtown Grand Hotel, the $25 ticket to the New Year's Eve party at the Mob Bar includes three drinks and a dueling piano performance. Vegas is always crazy, but uh, New Year's is even more so. <laughs> and that's why visitor Michael Weinberger is choosing to stay downtown rather than the strip this New Year's Eve. He says he got a great deal for his room at the downtown Grand and a chance to experience a part of the city he's never been to. You're close enough to Fremont Street, but once you turn the corner, it's quiet. So that's kind of nice. Another new option for both locals and tourists to party in downtown this New Year's Eve is this new container park on Fremont and 7, which just opened earlier this month. This outdoor attraction features nearly 40 shops and restaurants and will have a free concert for New Year's Eve. <laughs> for 20-something Matt Dangler, he says the container park will be his party spot come Tuesday night. Uh, I don't mind the crazy. I just feel like it'd be crowded and kind of annoying. Like, it'd be cooler to be with my friends. And Dangler and his friends will have plenty Plenty of company. More than 30,000 people are expected downtown as the city rings in 2014. Petrania Poonswan, 8 News Now. Well, we got mixed reactions from drivers think that this is going to help promote more responsibility on the roadways and even help with boosting our local economy, while others doubt the new law will do much to create safer roadways. 2014 could put tens of thousands of new drivers on our roadways, many who may not be in this country legally. So there's quite a bit of interest out there on, in driver authorization cards. The Department of Motor Vehicles will begin issuing the driver's authorization cards starting Tuesday for Nevada residents who want to drive legally but don't meet the citizenship requirements. Backers of SB 303, which passed last year, say this legislation will make roads safer because undocumented that immigrants can now get behind the wheel legally after taking a driver's test and getting insurance. They want to follow the, the law. They want to keep the record clean. Omar Gonzalez, who supports a new law, says it could also bring in money for local businesses. For example, insurance agencies and companies that translate foreign documents, such as passports and birth certificates, which will now be required to get the driver's card. They were advertising that, you know, come to us, come to us, because already they, they're advertising in Spanish in a, uh, radio and TV. Margaret Oliveira says that she knows of undocumented immigrants who drive without a license, and she doubts getting a driver's card will make them safer on the road. Is a license going to make them stop or look left or right or slow down? 
No, it's not. Even then, DMV offices across the state expect some 60,000 people to apply for the driver's authorization cards come January 2nd when the agency reopens after the New Year's holiday. Huh? And these driver's authorization cards will have to be renewed every single year and in person. That's a part of it. And it's not considered an official ID, so you can't use it to vote or get it for on a plane, for example. But getting these cards can be difficult for some people. We'll talk more about that and hear what the DMV has to say. That's all coming up at 6 o'clock. You know, today is the first day that the DMV can start issuing these cards, the result of SB 303, a legislation that passed last year. And according to the undocumented immigrants that we talked Talk to, they say this new law is both about increasing safety and easing fears every time they hit the road. 29-year-old Hector Miguel sits and waits at the DMV for his number to be called. The single father came to the U.S. from Mexico nine years ago. He's been living here with his family illegally. He's also been driving without a license. Miguel says he has no choice. I need to drive because, uh, you know, we had to eat, we had to pay rent, we had to pay bills. But starting today, Miguel has a choice when it comes to driving with legal permission on Nevada roads. Next in line. The DMV has begun issuing issuing driver authorization cards, which allows undocumented immigrants to get behind the wheel after showing valid identifications and passing both the written and driving tests. It's a good day. Nevada State Senator Mo Dennis authored SB 303 and says the card will have many benefits, from arming more people with basic driving skills to potentially lowering insurance rates for every driver in Nevada. This is going to allow for people to, um, to start getting a history so that when they buy insurance in the future, it'll actually be um, more beneficial to them. Maria Rodriguez came to the DMV to get more information about the card for her friends who currently drive illegally. Well, it's scary because they worry about the cops. They're going to give them tickets and then sometimes they don't have the money to pay the ticket. For Hector Miguel, he's yeah, taking the first step to avoid trouble on the road. Safety, yeah. I can drive safety now. By driving safely and legally with a valid card in hand. Well, coming up at 6, we'll talk more about some of the problems these applicants are running into once they get to into the DMV. And officials say a lot of these issues can be solved by just looking to their website before you go in. And we have that website linked to 8newsnow.com. Just use the keyword DMV. Back to you. The DMV opens at 8 a.m., but officials say there was a line out the door at this office near Sahara and Boulder Highway starting at 5 this morning. I've talked to a number of people who wanted to come in here and do them on the first day. Many of these people are undocumented immigrants who came to apply for a driver authorization card. The DMV began issuing the card Tuesday, which will allow Nevadans who don't meet citizenship requirements to drive in the state legally. I need to drive because, uh, you know, we have to eat, we had to pay rent, we had to pay bills. 29 year old Hector Miguel came with documents needed to apply for the card, including two forms of IDs and two residency documents. But not everyone is as prepared. We've seen a lot of people that don't have the right documentation. Others had to come back because they weren't ready to take the written test. Some say they didn't know they had to take it on the same day, while those who only speak Spanish face a different roadblock. The problem is the driver's handbook where people can study for their test, they're all in English. So if you want to get the Spanish version, you have to go online to get them. And a lot of people in low income communities don't have access to that. The test costs $25 on top of the $22 to apply for the card. Every time you retake the test, it will cost you $10. Nonprofit groups are now working with the DMV to print out free Spanish language version of the handbook. For now, the DMV advises anyone wanting to apply for any kind of card to get more information online before coming in to save both time and money. Patranya Poonswan, 8 News Now.